Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get Twilio API key in 2024. So today we're diving into the world of Twilio, which is a leading cloud communication platform. If you're eager to integrate Twilio powerful services into your applications or projects, you'll need to obtain your Twilio API key. In this tutorial, of course, for 2024, we'll guide you through the process of getting your Twilio API key. So make sure to Stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go, of course, and open a browser that you'll use. For this video, I'm using like Brave Browser, of course, for your case. You can open whatever browser you want. Once you open that, you can go to this URL section. Here, make sure to type twilio.com, hit the enter button. And once you do so, as you can see here, You'll find yourself on the home screen, the main screen. So if you have an account by any chance, you can simply go to the top right corner, click on login and make sure to log in into your account right away. If you don't have an account by any chance, you can simply click on start for free to create a new account. As you can see, you'll be able to do so. You can even create an account using Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating your account and filling up your information. So for me, I'll just choose here my Google account. Of course, for me, I'm already like, I already created my account with the account that I choose here. So they will not take me to create my account. They'll basically take me to log in into my account right away. For you, you can go and create your account. I've already made a video on how to get started even with Twilio if you want to check it out and how it's includes in there how to create an account. So once your account of course if it's verified with your email and the like phone number verified because you'll ask you to verify those two to enable 2fa it's time to of course access the twilo console once you are here you would like to navigate into the dashboard for me as you can see i'm already in here as you can see here i'll find like hello you'll be able to connect to third party applications and my teammates talk to sales some helpful links as example account info including account sid and auth uh, authentication token and as you can see you are in a trial account and you can only send messages and make calls and uh, verified phone numbers learn more about that of course if you want to and of course always store your token securely to protect your account here we will be leaving to find like as example the marks place uh, so you'll be able to see if we go here to overview so okay i'll just go back here to show you or explore the marks place as example of course if you're interested even about the pricing like you'll be able to check it out like all the pricing that they have so if we go here let me just wait so you'll be able, of course here to fill up your information but i'll just go here to click on pricing and depending on whatever you want for example you'll be able to view like for sms pricing specifically uh, you'll be able to view for uh, numbers prices for trunk and depending on whatever you want and then as you can see you'll be able to see everything that you want about that if you want to upgrade and as i said okay i don't want this here you'll be able to see a lot of things on the marketplace if you want to as you can see if especially if you're not good at coding but i mean like at this, make sure to have a basic knowledge about coding and you can use even some AI tools like ChatGPT, which is the most known to help you code uh, because like in Twilio, you have to connect to a lot of things and you would like to be good at coding if you want to do that. So basically, let's just get back to the idea of this video, which is the BI key. So if you want to get it, just go to your account at the top right corner and basically click on API keys and tokens. Once you do so, as you can see, API keys for United States recommended. Of course, you can get authentication token, which is already done. For me, I don't have any API keys here also. So all I need to do is simply go and click on create an API key. Once I click on create, as you can see, they'll take me here to this page. So I'll have to give it first of all a friendly name. Uh, I don't know, I'll just name it test. And the region you can choose normally by default United States. You can choose Australia or Ireland if you're one of those. And here the key in type. Do you want its main? Do you want its restricted beta or sender? For me, I'll just choose sender, then click on create. Once I click on create as an example, you have successfully created new API key and US one. Please make sure to copy the secret key from this page. Because if you didn't copy, of course, it will be, uh, as you can see, the secret above is only shown once. So please make sure uh, make to note it and store it in a safe place or secure location. So make sure to copy it and make sure to click on gotcha. As you can see, I have saved my API key and uh, SID, make sure to copy that also, 
and secrets sits in a safe place to use for multiplication. So just, of course, this to integrate to anything that you want. Then click on done. For me, I'll delete this API key so it does not. Uh, I don't mind showing it here. As an example, you'll be able to click on it and delete it whenever you want. And yeah, as you can see, once you locate it, you can start using your API key and you can start integrating Twilio services uh, to your application or projects and authenticate your request using your account, SID, and authent uh, tokens to access widely powerful uh, communication capabilities. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.